Cravers and welcome back to Little Cravings. Tomorrow is the 4th of July and here we're going to have a lot of rain. But no matter, I'm still going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate with some old classics and some twists on traditionals. Two of my favorite people are coming to celebrate with us. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Make sure you press the notification bell so that you're advised on every time I upload a new video. The first recipe is an orange chipotle glaze. It's incredible with chicken, prawns and pork and it's super easy. In a pan, we're going to place some coriander, Seville orange marmalade, some uh, chipotle, chili paste, chicken stock, chili jam, which is incredibly delicious. So that gives it another layer of spiciness, but it, um, unlike the chipotle, it doesn't have the smokiness of it. I toasted my cumin seeds, which are, I think is delicious when they're toasted, just because it, it intensifies the flavor. And I'm going to finish with juice from half a lime. We're going to mix all of this together. We're going to put it in the cooker and we're gonna simmer it until it's all melted. Once it's done, we're gonna let it cool before we use it. One of my salads is gonna be apple slaw. So I'm gonna start with by putting my shredded cabbage into a colander. And the colander is sitting over a bowl. I'm going to salt it and I'm gonna salt it generously. Mix the cabbage and the salt. I'm gonna leave this overnight in the refrigerator. In the meantime, I am going to make the dressing. Tomorrow, I will then add my Granny Smith apples and a carrot. In a pan, I'm going to add cider vinegar, apple juice, one small stick of cinnamon, and one aniseed, and powdered ginger. I prefer to use fresh ginger because it gives it a bit of spiciness. I didn't have any, so we're gonna do it with just powdered ginger. Salt and pepper. We're going to bring this to the boil and reduce it. And when it has sort of a loose syrupy consistency, we know it's ready. Next, I am going to prepare the best pay of thing that you could make, as far as I'm concerned. I am going to make a ranch butter to put on griddled sweet corn. It is, ah, oh, it is so full of flavor. And uh, for my British friends, I have to apologize because uh, it's very difficult to find, you know, that ranch powder seasoning. But for my American friends, oh my God, it is so worth doing. So we're going to take some softened butter, look how soft it is. And all you have to do is add your ranch dressing, mix it together until everything's blended together properly and put it in the fridge until the next day. That way, when, you, when it hits the sweet corn, hot out of the oven in my case, out of the barbecue in your case, it will be incredible. Look, gorgeous, beautiful, love it. Next sauce, the classic barbecue sauce. We are going to start by sauteing some garlic and onion on over medium heat in a pan. And that's going to be the basis, the flavoring of our sauce. I'm now going to add some passata, red wine vinegar, a combination of soy sauce and Worcester sauce, English mustard and paprika. Okay, now that my sauce has reduced, I am going to add a cup of dark brown sugar. And I'm gonna get, get that to melt into the sauce. This is exactly how you want your sauce. Can you see the bubbles on the surface? It's dark, so all the brown sugar has melted into it, and it's really thick. We're just gonna turn it off, and we're going to let it cool down before we use it. But of course I'm gonna have potato salad, but I'm going to have a German potato salad. I'm going to take some bacon, fry it up, chop it up, 
and then put the rest of my ingredients to simmer in the bacon fat. I'm going to put that away overnight and then I'm gonna warm it up and I'm going to dress my warm potatoes with the hot dressing. It is an incredible salad, it's a bit different. It's not the everyday mayonnaise potato salad. Okay guys, so I've done all of my sauces. I'm ready for tomorrow. I have a mess. I'm going to do a bit of tidying up, finish a glass of wine, go to bed and wake up to the 4th of July. I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends. It's the first time they're over in a very, 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 very long time. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Happy 4th of July, Cravers. Today, obviously, is the 4th of July. I have my friends, the bees, coming over to celebrate the 4th of July with me. Unfortunately, the weather is rainy, it's stormy, it's windy, it's cold. It doesn't matter, I am ready for it. I have all my ingredients ready. I want to prepare my coleslaw now because I wanted to have time to marinate and absorb all the flavors. I have my salted cabbage, which I salted overnight. So taste this, and if it's too salty for you, just rinse it a, a bit, and make sure you squeeze out as much liquid as possible. You don't want that liquid to dilute the dressing we made, yes, last night. Then I'm going to add some grated apple and add my carrots. I need a bigger bowl. This might seem too big a bowl, but you need all the room to move and to put all of your ingredients together. You wanna make sure that to separate all of that apple so that it goes, runs all the way through the mixture. Then I'm gonna pour my apple dressing. I did my grating and my shredding in a food processor. You know how much I love my food processor. But you can do your uh, carrots and apple on a grater and you can shred your cabbage by hand with a knife. Just make sure everything is really finely shredded and, and, and grated. All right, we're done. We're just going to cover it with cling film and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. My potatoes are ready to be cooked. They're chopped, they're in cold water, and the water looks a little murky because I like to put stock in it to cook the potatoes. It adds to the flavor. The way I like to prepare my ribs is I put them in a pan and then cover them with water. Then I add just an onion. I quarter it, I don't peel it, I just put it in. I put in some garlic cloves and some sprigs of thyme. Bring them to the boil then simmer them covered for about 35 to 45 minutes. I want to keep the structure, but I want them to be tender. All right, so my friends have arrived, and I am going to do some last minute preparation. I'm going to get my uh, chicken, and I'm going to um, marinate it. Just glaze it to begin with and then I'm going to continue using the glaze all the way through the baking process. Cover every piece and then you cover all of it. Hello! <laughs> you can't come in. <laughs> I think they're being shy. <laughs> so then we're going to just leave it on the tray and put it in the oven. And on this tray I have the ribs which have already softened and I'm just going to bathe them with my barbecue sauce and I'm gonna keep on brushing barbecue sauce as they cook in the oven. Here is my German potato salad, dressed, smells delicious. Now I'm going to prepare my sweet corn and um, dress it as well. Stuff because it's not my favourite, mm. but I loved, I loved everything there. But 
That yeah. was that was bang on. Yeah. Good. Bang on. It was lovely. And for dessert, some caramelized pineapples. 